you're looking at three pennies. Those three pennies in 1900 had the same buying power as a dollar bill does today. In other words, that currency has lost, mind you, lost 97% of its value. Absolutely. But let's take uh, a different look at it. My father started working in 1930, and he was working for a dollar a day. In 1960s, I started working for a dollar an hour. I was making 10 times what he was making. And today's young people, when they start working, they're making $10 an hour. So each increment goes up tenfold, ten times the money that the last generation did. If you do the math on that, that means the next generation is going to be working for $100 an hour. But they'll still be lucky to have just the buying power of the past. Of the past. If I might give you a different example, my wife and I, when we got married in 1973, we were working for $2 an hour. That $2 an hour got us by very well, absolutely. But to have the same buying power at that $2 today, you would have to make $60. $60 just to break even with that $2 an hour wage, absolutely. $60 bill. And since you're not making it, that tells you somebody else is getting your share. And now you know another reason why there are 500 billionaires in America, because most of us are not getting our share.